is that we wanted to enable any developer or company to have access to the same selection of services, the same cost structure, and the same scalability as the largest companies in the world. And that's no different in machine learning. We want everyday developers and scientists to be able to use machine learning much more expansively. So with that in mind, it's my extreme pleasure to introduce Amazon SageMaker, which is an easy way to build, train, and deploy machine learning models for everyday developers. So let's look at these blockers I talked about earlier and look how they're different. So you can prepare and store all your data in S3 in the data lake, and then use Glue to move that data from various places and do some of the transformations. And then right from the get-go, with one click, you get a managed hosted notebook that uses the popular open source Jupyter framework. And we have lots of notebooks, notebooks that we've pre-built that you can use that are optimized for various use cases, or you can choose to, write, to import your own. Then, if you look at the stage of actually picking the algorithm, we give you a lot of choices, but that are much easier to implement. So you can either choose to, to use one of the SageMaker algorithms that we have built and, and done all the work under the covers around the framework, or you can choose to specify your own or import any that you want. If you choose one of the SageMaker algorithms, let me tell you what we've done. We've taken the top 10 commonly used algorithms, and these are things like k-means clustering for data segmentation, or you can use factorization machines for recommendations, or time series forecasting, or XGBoost, the top 10 of them. And then we've installed all the drivers and configured the framework for you, so you don't have to worry about any of that. And then what we've done is we've had separable teams working on each of these algorithms over the last number of months to optimize them such that eight of those 10 algorithms run 10 times faster than you'll find anywhere else, and two of them run three times faster. And the way we've done that is that those teams have changed the implementation from needing to go back through data they've already seen and make multiple passes of the data to changing the implementation to be able to make one pass through that data, even petabyte in size. So much, much faster, if you think about it. Now, if you don't want to use our SageMaker algorithms, you can choose to specify the framework you want to bring and the algorithm you want to bring with it. And we have done a, a ton of work over the last year natively optimizing TensorFlow and MXNet. So again, you don't have to worry about any of the behind the scenes setting up of the frameworks, et cetera. That's all taken care of natively for you in SageMaker. And of course, if you want to bring a different framework, we're going to support all the major frameworks natively, like we have TensorFlow and MXNet, where we built it deeply into the SageMaker uh, service. But if you want to use a different framework now or any algorithm you can imagine, it's really easy to import it. You just specify the location of the container in the Elastic Container Registry. This is a huge change in the ability to pick an algorithm and have a framework associated with it and to be able to run it. Then, once you've picked the algorithm, training is so much easier in SageMaker than it is anywhere else. And that's because all you do is you specify the location in S3 of your data and the instance type you want to use, including the powerful P3s. And in one click, SageMaker spins up an isolated cluster with its own software-defined network. It sets up auto-scaling for you. It sets up all the EBS volumes. It sets up the data pipelines. And it starts training, either with the SageMaker algorithms or the TensorFlow and MXNet scripts or whatever algorithms you bring to bear. And then when you're done, SageMaker tears down the cluster. This is a huge efficiency gain in training. No longer do you need a separable team to manage the training. And then, if you've got a promising model, you want to make it usable and you need to tune, it's a really different experience in SageMaker than what you normally have to do. There's really two main things you have to do when you're tuning. There are two main choices you can make. One is, do I change the data that the models, uh, that I'm ingesting in the model? And the second is, how do I actually tune the parameters, or what people call hyperparameters? And so as I mentioned earlier, today that tuning of those parameters is largely random and takes a ton of time and trial and error. What we've done in SageMaker is we've built a feature called hyper 
hyperparameter opti optimization, or HPO. And so with hyperparameter optimization, you can check a box at the beginning of tuning, and it will do that HPO for you. And what it does is it spins up multiple copies of your model, and then it uses machine learning to inform the machine learning model. So it looks at where, with each change we make across that parallelization of your models, which are having the impacts, and the model gets smarter. And it's much, much faster to tune those parameters. And by the way, again, you're, you're tuning thousands and sometimes millions of parameters. So what it means for machine learning model builders now is that you don't have to worry about the tuning of the parameters. You just have to worry about, should I change the amount of data or what type of data I should infuse into the model? This is a huge weight off of builders' backs. And then when you want to actually go deploy the model to production, all you do is you pick the instance type you want to use, the min-max number of EC2 instances, and you one-click your model to production. And SageMaker will deploy it across multiple availability zones. It'll set up auto-scaling for it. It'll set up the secure HTTPS endpoints so that it can easily connect to your application. And there you are. That's all you have to do. There is no other solution out there that lets you do close to this easy a deployment to production. Then additionally, we have the ability to allow you to do A-B testing. So you can test your new algorithm before you deploy it to production against your current algorithms or whatever your current method is of actually making re recommendations to customers, which also is super useful. And then when you got to go manage this thing at scale, once you're in production, SageMaker manages the compute infrastructure on your behalf. It not only does the auto-scaling, but performs regular health checks and handles node failures under the covers and applies security patches and does all kinds of routine maintenance and all of this with CloudWatch monitoring and logging available for you. So one other cool thing is that we built SageMaker in a module, modular fashion. So that means that if you want to build and train an algorithm but run it in production somewhere else, you can do that. You just use the build and train capabilities of SageMaker. Or if you want to build and train an algorithm elsewhere and host it and run it in production in SageMaker, you can do that as well. This is a big deal for everyday developers and scientists in machine learning, and this should make it much more accessible for customers. We're really excited about this.